happy Monday. Welcome back. I hope you guys had a beautiful weekend. It was so nice and sunny here. So I hope you got out and got to enjoy the nice weather. Let's get ready for circle time to so get your legs out nice and long. And then crisscross applesauce spoons in your bowls. Take a deep breath and we're ready to go. Rise and shine and welcome to school today. Rise and shine and welcome to school today. Rise and shine and welcome to school today. We're so glad you're here. And we're so glad you're here with us today. Right, Medi Teddy? We're ready? Yeah, we're ready. So let's see. How many friends are here today? Here to learn, here to play. How many friends are here today? Can we count them? So as you can see, I got a much bigger board because the one I was using was very small. So I got a bigger board for us so that you can see a little bit better what I'm drawing. So. Um, this is going to be a tricky because I'm a lefty, so I will do my best. So I'm going to make my T-chart. P for present. A for absent. And so you can count who's in your house. Well, I count who's in my house. So right now in my house, I'm awake, Mike's awake, Bella's awake, and Matthew's awake. That's one, two, three, four. Four people are awake in my house. So I'm going to make my four, go down and over, then down some more. That's how I make a four. And there's one person who is still asleep. That's Miranda. So I'm going to make a straight line down, whoopsie, and then I'm done. That's how I make my one. So Miranda is still asleep and everybody else is awake. She'll get up soon because she has to get ready for school too. So let's see how many... All right, which side has more and which has less? What do you think? Let's do our counting. Okay, we start down low at zero, and then we go one, two, three, four. So what do you think? Do I have more people that are present or asleep? Yeah, there's more people present because four is a higher number than one. So there's less people asleep. Very good. Okay, we're going to get ready to do our breath work today. And Medi Teddy, I see you are in your lion's breath pose. So today we're going to do a lion's breath. So to do a lion's breath, you're going to come up on your knees like this. Put your hands right here on your knees. You're going to lean forward a little bit. You can put your hands on the floor or you can keep them on your knees. And we're gonna make some roaring sounds like a lion. We're gonna do quiet like we did last week with our Itsy Bitsy Spider. Quiet and then we're gonna get louder and louder. So I'm gonna sit like this. You just sit how you want. We we'll take a deep breath and then do a roar. So that was our quiet roar. So let's get a little louder. Take a deep breath in and do a roar. Okay, now let's do our loudest breath. Let's do our loudest lion breath. So take a deep breath in and roar. I think Miranda might be awake now. <laughs> so all week long, we're gonna do a lion's breath and you'll know why we're doing lion's breath with Medi Teddy soon because it's gonna be part of one of the nursery rhymes we do. So okay, let's get ready for learning. We did our breath work, we got out our roars, and now let's open up our mind for learning. Open up our ears for listening. And I'm gonna draw what we're learning about this week because we have three, I'm gonna get all my colors up. We have three new nursery rhymes. I don't know that I'm drawing that right, friends. I'm doing my best. Okay. 
end up being a, looking more like a pig and that's not what I want. I'll draw the legs and then I'll do the face. Okay, I make my circle. I do my best. <laughs> All right. Give him some arms and legs too. Okay. And oh, one more. One more. I'll use purple this time. I need more space. There. Okay. So here are our nursery rhymes. Can you guess what they are? This is Hey Diddle Diddle. The cat and the fiddle, the cow jumped over the moon. So, hey, diddle, diddle. Do you know what that is? <laughs> it's Humpty Dumpty. He's sitting on the wall. And then, row, row, row your boat, because there's a boat. So, those are our nursery rhymes. So, our sentence is, we are going to learn more nursery rhymes. We are going to learn more nursery long word rhymes. So that's our sentence. So let's look at our words that would go in there. We are going to learn more nursery rhymes. So now I'm gonna fill in my missing words. Can you help me? My first word is we are going to learn more nursery. Oops, I forgot my R. Hold on, friends. Nursery rhymes. I think I'm going to have to move this to the other side. It's kind of hard to write on this side. So we are going to learn more nursery rhymes. So let's read the sentence together. Get your finger ready and we'll tap and say it together. We are going to learn more nursery rhymes. And we're gonna do that right now. So we're gonna start with Hey Diddle Diddle. So I have my nursery rhyme book right here. It's called Humpty Dumpty and Friends. So we'll start with our Hey Diddle Diddle. Hey Diddle Diddle, the cat and the fiddle, the cow jumped over the moon. The little dog laughed to see such sport and the dish ran away with the spoon. Okay, let's do it again and you can help me. Hey diddle diddle, the cat and the fiddle, the cow jumped over the moon. The little dog laughed to see such sport and the dish ran away with the spoon. That's actually one of my favorite nursery rhymes. Don't know why, I just really like it. Oh, and I almost forgot. And now let's do Humpty Dumpty. There's Humpty Dumpty sitting on the wall. Humpty Dumpty sat on the wall. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. All the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't put Humpty together again. Can you do it with me now? Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. All the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't put Humpty together again. Poor Humpty. Maybe they need some tape or glue, huh? And the last one we're gonna do together is row, row, row your boat. And to do that, I'm gonna need you to get inside your boat. So I'm gonna pretend my mat is my boat. You can use a floor or the rug or a pillow. Get on your boat. Get your feet out nice and long in your boat. Here, I'll have Medi Teddy go on her blanket. We're gonna get in our boat, get your oars, those are the paddles that we use, and we're gonna row our boat like this. We're gonna say, row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. 
Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. And I'm gonna teach you two other versions of that. And we're gonna row our boat like this. But we might see something different. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. If you see a crocodile, don't forget to scream. Ah! That's silly, right? Now we're gonna rock our boats. Rock, rock, rock your boat gently to the shore. If you see a lion, don't forget to roar. So that's the version of Row, Row, Row Your Boat we're going to do this week. We're going to do it again. It's an, all nursery rhymes are rhymes. They have rhyming words. So we're doing some rhyming words with our Row, with our row Your Boat. So get in your boat, grab your oars, and we'll row. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. If you see a crocodile, don't forget to scream. Ah! Now rock, rock, rock your boat gently to the shore. If you see a lion, don't forget to roar. <laughs> So we're gonna do that version of Row, Row, Row Your Boat all week long. And we're gonna change up the sound of our voice to, from quiet to louder to loudest, just like we did with our lion breath. We're gonna do that with our Row, Row, Row Your Boat. And we're gonna play some Humpty Dumpty games and Hey Diddle Diddle games. Lots of fun stuff going on this week. I'm gonna post our science video later and we're gonna do a science experiment with a boat. But right now we're gonna sing our goodbye song. Goodbye and so long. It's time to stay home. School's done for today. Goodbye and so long. Bye friends, I'll see you later. Have a great day.